How's it going guys? Dan here from Who For Good Adventures and today is Christmas Day and it's time for a brand new Doctor Who. That is the first time we've been able to save us since 2017 and that is quite a mad thought. Uh, so today is the Church on Ruby Road. So we've got quite a lot of stuff in this episode. There's going to be a new Sonic, uh, first four episodes with our new Doctor, um, new companion, uh, new title sequence hopefully and theme, who knows. Um, quite a lot of stuff. Uh, it's going to be quite exciting to see how shoot how shooty gets on, uh, and I'm very much looking forward to it. So, yeah. Without any further ado, well, the titles. A stranger came to the church in Ruby Road. Well, credit. <laughs> she carried in her arms the most precious gift of all. Now a lot of people think that, oh this is going to be um, someone a baby girl. special or something like that, I think it's, it's just real bismol, just before that's it, I mean don't really she left find anything much about her. Of the church. The baby's going to be ice cold. The child was taken in, and they named her Ruby, after the place where she was found. Until that night, a there time is? traveller came to call, a traveller known as why is he called Wayne? The Doctor. Okay, no new titles. Also did say there would be some slight changes. Shooty Gatwa, there he is. Millie Gibson. Please fix the logo. I just want the logo fixed. No. <laughs> it's still awful. Oh well. Maybe next series. <laughs> I feel like this goblin's gonna get quite annoying. Yes! Finally! Now Jack can we look to Vina. Ah, good day, Bat. My birthday. So while this was happening, I was in Weatherspoons. Uh, uh. Where is he wearing the steps? I'd love to know why he's doing all this. If it, is he just having a bit of R and R? Health and safety. Genitonic division. Psychic paper. Can I ask, does that happen to you a lot? I like that look. Saw this bit being filmed not long ago. Well, I didn't see it in person, I mean, but um, I think a lot of people thought that it was for the next series is cool, which was special, but it must have just been pickups. Get back! Please don't get the end of shooting out with us for Doctor. Don't you punch the eye? <laughs> a pram? A midnight. How do you know that? It's been sonic screwdriver just went ping. That's a screwdriver just <laughs> Yeah. And that precise I know. ping is detecting a two carat diamond in your pocket. Hello? Is that Ruby? It's Davina. Davina McCall? No way, she would oh be born doing the calling. Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's nice to hear from you. Especially on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Uh, bring on the doctor any second now. What the hell are you doing? Oh, that outfit's so good. What did you do that for? Hurts. Ta-da! Oh, okay, how'd you do? That's pretty cool. I'm lightweight. Yeah, all the mass and density and mavity exists in the globe, <laughs> not in you. <laughs> oh, fantastic, for keeping mavity. Where? What's that? <laughs> That's so good. Do you know why they call them goblins? Because they like to gobble you up. Why? What is that thing? Sonic screwdriver. Well, screwdriver Sonic Skyrim out. These look burn everything on knots. Um, but it works on... Okay. Well, we, we've, got to get home we've seen it like burn anything. it before, Anything's haven't we? Now. What time were you born? Trip the right switch. <sighs> Special <laughs> guest star. Will you just be wrong? This is only a <laughs> Special guest star watching Doctor Who. Oh, well. You know, we can't exactly sneak around we're like giants in this world. Wait! Here we go, the goblin song. Because <laughs> the goblin king, oh the goblin king, it's so good to meet you, you great big thing. Oh my god. I can see you're having a fun day. <laughs> meet my friend, she's Ruby Sunday. 
Bloody hell. They can sing really well. Only one of them stayed. And you made my life. You absolutely made my life. So I think then he's going to go back I into the Doctor and then find out who you. she is. That leads into that I'm first scene. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, time to shower yeah, talk. I, uh, I only found out recently. That's a coincidence. And the window! I'm gonna freeze! Who's gonna fix that on Christmas Eve? Bye bye. Tara. Who are you talking to? No one. Where's Ruby? Just... Children. Oh, oh, so. Because for Doctor said that they could time travel, have they gone back and taken Ruby as a baby? Don't be so stupid. That's too much like hard work. That's what they all have done. Put my name on the list when I need a bit of money. No, you don't. Why would I want a daughter? And I'm happy as I am. <laughs> yeah, true. Why telling your Can face that love? Try telling your face. Why are you? Rose in tears is only just matter. They went back to the baby, the other baby. Told you, I wrote this episode. They went back in time and took Ruby and said a little bit. I love how ever since the filming pictures of a graveyard, uh, everyone was like, oh, um, whose grave is the doctor going to? Is it Donna's? Is it Wilf's? Well, it's no one's. I was. Love it when that happens. Mate, that's going to take ages. The baby's literally almost at the end and he's pulling the whole ship down. Badder by you, badder. Oh. oh. Jesus. That's bad. And um, that's the shot that everyone was like, oh my god, who's go wave is he at? Oh, but he looks so good though. That fake moustache didn't though. Oh, okay, go on. Is it the 13th Doctor with those boots? Mate, just follow her. Don't have to go talk to her, just follow her to, to, to you know, find out. I'll go back in the TARDIS and give up. That's fine, that works too. Let me never find out. Oh, I'm not What's she smiling about? She knows something. She's gotta be important. It's such a nice box. Good luck, Ruby. See, why is she saying that? Unless she's someone important and knows what the TARDIS is. Here we are, shooting in the TARDIS properly. Let's change this top. Who are you? I'm the doctor. <laughs> it's funny. it. Oh, I really wanted like a this is the TARDIS time of oh. who's she then Who is she? I think I'm locking in my answer now. We'll come back at the end of the next series. Get in. I reckon she's Ruby. Uh, yeah, I think she'll be Ruby uh, in the future. Um, oh, it's a Vivani! 
Never seen a TARDIS before, she knows. So it's like our storyline then for the next series. Well, she'd be popping up here, there, and everywhere. Mrs. Flood. Okay, season one, here we go. Into the vortex. I have the whole universe on my fingertips. Oh, this is him. You can't! Abbey Road, steer the holes! Alright, let's take it from the top. Beatles. Ruby, there are powers beyond the universe. Is that an you getting scared because you're just babbling now? Ah! Smell faster! No job. No boss. Just fun. <laughs> Classic. I'd love it if you came with me. The brand new season of Doctor Who this May on BBC May? One and I. I knew that. Brilliant. And that was the Churchill movie world. Oh, let's just rewatch that trailer, shall we? Because I feel like I saw an Auton. Okay, so Beatles episode. Into the vortex. I mean, I love to know the contest behind these costumes. Now that's part here where we saw the first bit of filming happening. I have the whole universe on my finger. All right, Jonathan Groff. So that's our period episode. It is. In deal with armor. You can't. Have we rolled steel in holes. Beatles. Brilliant. All right, let's take it from the top. Don't really look much like him. I guess we'll see them a, a bit better near with the time. I can mind that or something, isn't it? Oh. Ruby, that are... Now who's that? Is that? That's either like an Auton or Mrs. Flood, I think. I think it might be Mrs. Flood. I don't know why I thought it was an Auton. I thought I saw like a pl plastic face. My power is beyond the... Uh, Jinx Monsoon. Universe. Are you getting scared because you're just babbling now? New monsters, Mel. I love that top. No job. No. Just Rose. Uh, back again. That's for finale, isn't it? Fun. <laughs> I'd love it if you came with me. The brand new season of Doctor Who this May on BBC One and iPlayer. So that was Doctor Who, the church on Ruby Road. Wow, um, it was quite a um, smaller scale story, weren't it? There, there was quite, um, there wasn't much, if that makes sense. Uh, quite a small scale story. Um, let's focus on Judy Gatwa first. So, amazing. It was really good. Um, oh god, yeah, he's just gonna be amazing next series. Um, he's he just brings like a new breath of air to the character, which is uh, so exciting to see and comment to see more of that develop and stuff like that. Ruby, um, Ruby felt very much like a Clara and Rose mix, uh, which ain't really a bad thing, but. Uh yeah, quite like a character. She's very fun. Um Yeah, can't wait to see more of her. Um The Goblins bit underused, uh I thought that they were gonna really have a bit of an invasion at the end, but the doctor needs to stop. But yeah, um what else, what else, what else? Uh let's talk about the plot strands that we're left with. Um Uh Mrs Flood whoever she is, uh, she'll be connected somehow, um, who else, what else have we got, um, God, my brain's gone completely empty now, there's another plot to run, but, Ruby's mum, there we go, sorry, ignore me, it's Christmas day, I've had my dinner, my brain's gone empty, Ruby's mum, uh, and Mrs. Flood, the two sort of plot to run, um, I'm guessing Mrs. Flood might be Ruby's mum, I don't know, maybe that's a bit, bit of a stretch. But I kind of thought I locked in an answer of uh, Mrs. Flood being R Ruby in the future. Um, but she'll be someone connected to the Doctor somehow. Um, 
Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed at the ending. I was really sort of hoping for your good old fashioned TARDIS reveal where the Doctor says, you know, visit the TARDIS, time and relative dimension in space. It's something that you'd love to see on every companion's first story. Um, we didn't really get that, which I'm quite disappointed about. It was left very open ended. Uh, and very sort of like, yeah, she's gone in, they're going on event. I mean, are they going on adventures? You don't really, you don't really know. She's not really been invited on board, or maybe to be like Rose, where it takes up to four four episodes to be officially invited on as a companion and stuff. So I'm a little bit disappointed at the ending. I might give it a rewatch and it might sink in a bit better uh, and feel a bit better. But but it felt a bit jarring, a bit cut up, a bit. Um, that shot of shooting though at the end was very good. I like that. Um, next season. We got a trailer, uh, didn't really reveal much, um, but it did show us clips of the Beatles episode, the Regency episode, a bit of Jinx Monsoon, um, Mel as well, going to be exciting to see Mel back again. Uh, didn't see any of Kate or Unit, but we know that they are in the next series. Rose we saw, uh, I do wonder how she will connect into Shooty's Doctor. Um, does she even know Shooty's Doctor? Does she even know about regeneration? A lot of things which are going to need answering in May. Um, but yeah, it's uh, quite exciting. Quite exciting time. Um, and yeah, so we're going to leave it there. That was for Church on Ruby Road. Um, oh, it's so good to have Doctor Who back on Christmas Day, isn't it? Oh, it just belongs. It just belongs here. Gosh. To Rise Upon a Time is no longer the last Christmas special. It's amazing to say that. Um, but yeah, that is all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. Tell me what you thought of the episode. I uh, really want to know your thoughts. Um, I'll see you in the new year. Have a lovely cool Christmas. Uh, have a safe new year. And we'll see you when Doctor Who returns. Bye.